trust, we trust in you, Jesus. You're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. To lead us, we're on the right track Oh, 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 oh Wide open spaces for wide open eyes We're looking ahead for the next big surprise Oh, 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 oh. We trust, we trust, we trust in you And welcome to day two of Vacation Bible School. Co-conductor Allison here, and I'm here to help you go down the journey, down the rocky railway. Don't forget, our slogan this year is Jesus' power pulls us through. Let's hear about what you guys will need today to make your journey down the rocky railway flow with ease. <coughs> All aboard! Co-conductor Rebecca here to help you along the journey. For supplies you'll need today, please check the yellow paper stapled to your bags. If you have any questions about supplies, please call the number down below for help. Now it's time to get shuffling down the tracks with Allie, our engineer. Take it away, Engineer Allie. Trust him. We can 
again. We can trust, trust him. We can trust him. Thank you. Wow, that was so much fun. And now it's time to learn about our theme of the day. Today's theme is Jesus' power gives us hope. Kids, let's say that together. Jesus' power gives us hope. To help us learn more about our theme and today's Bible story is the next member of our ecumenical motor team, Pastor Jody McDevitt. Jody. Hi everybody, I'm Jody. I'm one of the pastors at First Presbyterian Church and welcome to day two of VBS. I have a really interesting story to tell you. It's a story about Paul, who you met yesterday when you heard the story of how first he was Saul, and then he met Jesus, and his life was changed, and he changed his name to Paul. Well, this story takes place later in Paul's life, and it's not a railway story. It's a story on a ship. So I'm going to wear my sailor hat. And here is the ship. Let me introduce you to all the people on this ship. Here is the captain, the pilot of the ship, steering the boat through the water. And this boat ha has, of course, a sailor who is helping to sail the, the ship. And it also has a, so, some soldiers. And this is the captain of the soldiers called the centurion. And here's another soldier who's watching the, where the ship is going. And this one is Paul. Now on this ship, on this, in this story, Paul is a prisoner. And the centurion is in charge of Paul. So here Paul's sitting down and the centurion is watching over him, making sure he behaves himself. Well, they set sail for Rome, and it would probably be a few weeks before they got there. But what do you know? A bad storm came up. And the boat started rocking to and fro, and back and forth, and up and down in the storm. The waves were high. It was so dark they couldn't see the sun or the moon or the stars for day after day. And they didn't even eat. Maybe they were um, because they were seasick or maybe because they were just so scared. And the captain said, everybody sit down. You'll be safer if you're sitting down in this storm. So they did. And even the captain came down from his perch and joined the rest of the crew. And then it was so bad, the captain said, we need to throw the cargo overboard. And they threw it over overboard so they would lighten the ship. And still the waves tossed them back and forth and to and fro and up and down. And people were very scared. But Paul had a vision and he stood up in that rocking boat and he said, I saw an angel who told me that God will take care of all of us and we don't need to be worried. God will protect every one of us and we will all live. And even the centurion who was in charge of Paul believed him. Well, after a few more days, they reached a place where they knew, when the sailor looked overboard, that the, the um, sea was becoming more shallow. And they were worried because that could mean that they could crash on the rocks. So some of the sailors said, we're going to leave this ship. We can take our ship's lifeboat and get into it and save ourselves and let these other people. Well, they'll fend for themselves. They might die, but we'll live. And the sailors started to get in the lifeboat. But Paul, once again, said, we must all stay together. All of us are important in this boat. We need everyone to live. And the captain ordered the sailors to come back into the boat. And then they tossed the lifeboat overboard and said, we're all sticking together. And then Paul said, 
We have been on this ship for 14 days without eating, and I know that God is with us. So let us have something to eat to make us strong and healthy and know that God is taking care of us. So Paul did what he learned in church. He took the bread and he blessed it and he broke it and he gave it to everyone and they all had hope for the first time in 14 days. Well, later that same day, indeed, they saw the island and the boat crashed on the shore of the island, but they were close enough that they could all get out and swim to shore and they all sat on the beach and they thanked God that they had lived just as Paul had told them and just as the angel had promised. That's the end of this story. Paul gave them hope. Well, it's only day two and I feel like I've learned so much already. So what should we do now? Well, Allison, I think we should go back to our train depot and hang out with our station masters. Let's see what they have to say about today's theme. Good morning and welcome to day two of the Rocky Railway. I'm so excited. What are we learning about today? I think it's about a train that takes us to glory. No, it's about how to find hope in the teachings of Jesus, especially when we are in storms. Ooh, storms. Like the snowstorm we had last week in June in Montana. I mean, kind of like that. The storms are more an example of difficult times and where do we find hope in Jesus. Oh, because I've seen some crazy storms here in Montana, and I know you have to have some hope when the snow gets deep, or the wind is fierce, or the rain will not stop. Well, Marley, where do you find hope in those storms? I, I don't know that I ever thought about it before. Anyone else want to share where they find hope? I find hope in the storm, knowing all storms or struggles or problems eventually end. There is hope in that all these problems will end just as the storm will end. Well, for me, I find hope in knowing that Jesus is with me in the storm. When I face problems, I know I'm not alone because I know Jesus is along for the ride. Oh, I learn so much from my friends here. You all give me hope. And that is the point of our story in Acts today. Paul was in a storm with his friend, Barnabas, and they thought the ship would sink. But Paul kept encouraging them through the storm that God would be with them through all kinds of difficult situations. All aboard, let's get on the train and find the power of Jesus to encourage our friends. Thanks to our ecumenical motor team member, Jody, and our station masters for teaching us about what we are learning about for day two. Parents, don't forget that we have come up with a mock schedule for you to follow during the day, if you would like to use it, and we hope you have fun today. And now, go have fun, live in faith, and, and let's, let's travel, travel the Rocky, Rocky Railway. Railway. Trust in you, Jesus. You're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We 
We're trusting in you. We're trusting in you. You give us hope and love that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting in you. We're off on this journey. There's no looking back. With Jesus to lead us, we're on the right track. Oh, 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 oh,